Hi friends, welcome to Stamping with Wow. I'm Jennifer Sasaki, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is August 23rd, 2020. It's my daughter's birthday, but this isn't her birthday card. I mailed it out last week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I would love you to follow my videos on making Stamping Up! cards and gift boxes. Let's get started on what we'll need. We're going to be using Coastal Cabana Gorgeous Grape and Melon Mambo inks. And I'm going to use the Balloon Duet. I'm going to use the Hooray to You stamp set. And I'm going to be using a Melon Mambo Designer Series paper. The Gorgeous Grape is going to be my card base. And this Whisper White piece is 3 inches by 11 and a half. With the gorgeous grape is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. At the top of this video is my what my store address and my hostess code for the month of August 2020. The hooray to you! stamp set is located on page 104. It is $17 and it comes with this really nice sized happy birthday balloon stamp with a little bit of sentiments and two clusters of flowers. One cluster is closed and the other cluster is opened and they're very nice to use to add to the stamp set. These are previous cards I've made using this Happy birthday, hooray to you stamp set. And today's card's going to be a fun fold that's kind of fancy. I think I'm calling it a Z fold easel card because that's exactly what it does. It does a Z fold and it's an easel. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to score this gorgeous grape paper one more time. So it's already scored at four and a quarter, and now we need to score it at two and one eighths so that we can create our base to the easel or the Z fold of our card. And I'm just folding that and showing you how it's supposed to stand when it's completed. I just think that gorgeous grape's really nice. Now I'm going to score my eight and a half by three inch piece of Whisper White at the four and a quarter so that I'm going to take that half paper and it'll get adhered to the, the front of the Gorgeous Grape and then we'll adhere it to the back of the Gorgeous Grape card base. I'm just playing with how it's supposed to lay out so the card can stand up and so on the Melon Mambo Designer Series paper, we're going to cut one inch strips. We'll need two of those. And this Designer Series paper starts off as a six by six. So we've just cut one by six inch strips. The easiest way to stamp the Hooray to You birthday balloon is to use a Stamparatus. Um, that way you can, I like to mix multiple colors when I stamp the balloon image because of the flowers and the happy birthday. So I find it's easier to do all this um, on the Stamparatus versus on a block stamp. This way I can uh, multiple times layer the birthday stamp onto the Whisper White paper. So I'm just pressing the stamp to stick to the Stamparatus and now I'm going to use my sponge daubers to ink up my stamp because I only want certain areas to have certain colors. I don't own the stamping markers. Um, if I did, this would be a great stamp to use the markers with. I, you wouldn't want to use alcohol markers on a rubber stamp, but they're regular stamping uh, markers would work great. So that was Coastal Cabana and this is Melon Mambo and what I'm doing is I'm using the Melon Mambo 
dauber and I'm inking the edges of the stamp set. I don't want the inks to touch because I tried it earlier and when they go together they made like a mucky brown. So now you can see where my happy birthday is in Coastal Cabana and the rest of the flowers and the streamer are in the Melon Mambo. I think the stamp, the image came out really nice. I really like this stamp set a lot. Now I'm going to come in with Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape Ink and I'm going to be stamping some of the flower cluster stamps um, around the happy birthday of the balloon. So the Melon Mambo is already uh, a color on the stamped image, but I'm going to use the close set flowers on that and just add a little bit more dimension by adding um, a top layer color. And then I'm going to come in with the gorgeous grape using the open flowers and just get some of that purple into the card coloring because the card base is also made with uh, the gorgeous grape paper. So I just want to incorporate the color vib pretty vibrantly. I just think this birthday balloon flower card is really pretty. So now I'm done with the stamping image and now we're going to adhere it to the our easel, our Z fold easel base. Um, I'm, this is a ruler that has a center point. So what it allows me to do is make sure um, that I have the card and the banner I'm pretty much putting on here centered because I want the two strips of Melon Mambo to go on either side of this. And so I feel like it would look the best centered. So I'm using the stronger adhesive for this because this card is um, going to be an easel type card and it's going to stand on its own. So I want to make sure that it's stuck down really good. So I just did one strip of the of the stamp and seal along the bottom edge of the happy birthday image. And now what I'm doing is I'm trimming my Melon Mambo designer series papers to I believe it's four inches and then I'm going to use the the other piece for the front so it would be two inches so the four inch piece will go on the back part of the card and then the two inch piece will go on the front part of the card and it just worked out like that it all worked out great as far as being able to use up all these pieces I'm just using the lightweight stamp and seal to adhere these four pieces to the card base. And now I'm getting ready to adhere the, the top part of the Whisper White paper. I'm going to do one strip of that uh, Stronger Hold stamping seal on the back side of the edge, and I'm going to adhere it to the back side of the card. The, if I, I tried adhering it to the, the front side of the card, and it caused the back side of the card to bend forward. So I wanted to create more of a straight up and down with the back lip of the card. So that's why I adhered the image, the stamped image paper to the back of the gorgeous gray paper and not the where the small V is. Here I'm adding more flower clusters and gorgeous grape on top of this Melon Mambo designer series paper. 
I thought if I would have used Melon Mambo, it would have made the, it wouldn't have stood out enough. And I think the purple gives it just a nice touch. I plan on adding balloons soon, so I'm not too worried about there not being a lot of flowers there. Here I am. I found a smudge on my Whisper white paper. So I'm using these sequins um, from the artistry collection in the annual catalog to cover up. And then once you start, you have to stick in the odds number minimum of three. Here I'm using the balloon duet punch and I am punching out a few of the balloons using up some scrap paper. Um, so I think I'm going to end up with about seven balloons or so. And I will stamp those Coastal Cabana balloons in Coastal Cabana ink with the flowers so that they have some kind of dimension or texture to them so they're not just solid cardstock. And I'm going to use the circular side of the designer series paper of the Melon Mambo for the balloon. So I think those balloons came out really cute and I thought it'd be really cute if the balloons were hanging off the side of the happy birthday image in the center. So I'm just going to hear all these balloons to the side of the cards on both sides. It's important to make sure that those balloons stay within the parameters of the card base so that uh, when you go to mail this, it all fits in the envelope. So that's how the card's meant to stand up. And so what I wanted was a card that easily is noticeable to be a stand-up card when the receiver receives it. So now, since I've sealed up the front of the card, my uh, sentiment is going to go on the back side of the card. And I'm cutting a four by four with piece of Whisper White um, for my sentiment on the back. And I'm gonna cut out two more balloons using the Melon Mambo Designer Series paper. And then I'll just get out a glitter gel pen to add the strings to it. Here's my sentiment. I'm using Melon Mambo and it says time to celebrate. And that gives you plenty of room to sign the card and do a nice well wishing to the birthday person. Those are my gel writer, glitter gel writers. I had bought a big bunch of them from Amazon. Uh, so after I adhere the balloons down, I'll create little bows on the little nozzles of the balloons. And then I will just do curly Q streamers all the way down. Up at the top is my hostess code and my store website. Uh, if you're interested in placing an order, then please go to that store website and if your order is going to be under $150 please use that hostess code in the month of August 2020 and what that will allow is we can do a collective of orders to create a workshop and it will help everyone who places an order using that host code to receive free product so we won't qualify for free product without a minimum order of $150. So if your order is over $150, don't use the host code and you'll earn your own free product. If, if it's under, then I will do the collectiveness of the hostess code and share with everyone who orders. So that's about it for the card. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video and give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I hope you have a great weekend.
Bye for now.